This year's East Coast Surfing Championship is going to look much different than it usually does. There will be no spectators allowed and lots of restrictions put into place because of COVID-19. But despite the fact that this year's ECSC is much more toned down than usual, it doesn't stop it from being a historic year. We were the second longest continuously running surf competition in the world. Um, Bells Beach, Australia did not run this year. Um, so we definitely, if we ran, we would be the longest in the world. That doesn't trump safety. Mm -hmm. So how do we do this by keeping everyone safe? Uh, yeah, the, the pressure was definitely on. Surfing safely is key in the ECSC, accomplishing the feat of becoming the longest continuous running surf competition in the world. The 58th annual event will be a far cry from what we're used to. Only surfers and staff can be on location. No spectators allowed as the event sticks to the 50 people max restriction. There will be no international surfers. Masks are required and the non surfing sporting events and concerts that typically accompany the surfing will not take place. The surf competition, you know, is the core of ECSC. You know, we have all these other great events, um, but when it comes down to it, it's all built around the surfing. And the surfers are stoked because after months of being unable to compete, ECSC chairman Tony Polino says this marks the first major surf competition in the world since COVID-19 shutdowns began. A lot of the boys I've been talking to and the girls have been uh, just so excited, you know, thanking us for allowing us to have it. It's just nothing but smiles and thanks and, and safety and safety and safety. <laughs> so yeah, everyone's really stoked about it. And, and we're happy to host it. And happy to ride the wave of successfully becoming the world's longest continuous surfing competition into the many years to come. In Virginia Beach, Megan Plain with the Chevrolet Sports Report.